Chapter 61 Regal Technique, Sovereign Descent You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 61 Regal Technique, Sovereign Descent Translator Henyi Translations Editor Henyi Translations It was not until he reached the peak of the fifth level of the half, Saint Realm that Lin Rance leveling up ground to a halt. Sensing the violent power flowing through his body, Lin Ran couldn't help but look shocked. He had only encountered such a situation where his cultivation level soared three times. The first two times, he inherited the internal energy of deceased masters. The third time, while he was helping the Empress reproduce, he used the nine Yin, Yang swords to absorb a large amount of spiritual energy. However, this time, Lin Ran did not do anything. After sitting here for a while, his cultivation level jumped from the first level of the half, Saint Realm to the fifth level. This was too strange. Did I accidentally sign in while meditating? Lin Ran was suspicious, but then he knew that it was impossible. With the lesson he had learned in the Hidden Sword Pavilion, Lin Ran had full control over which sword to sign in with. Dot after looking around suspiciously for a moment, Lin Ran finally fixed his gaze at Sacred Abyss Sword on the wall. When Lin Ran was studying Sacred Abyss Sword, he realized that although this sword was also filled with sword intent, it was still much weaker than other divine swords. It was precisely because of this that he felt that this sword was a fake. However, when he looked at Sacred Abyss Sword again, Lin Ran immediately realized that something was wrong. The sword intent contained in this sword was gradually condensing, while the sword intent in the other divine swords was gradually lessening. It was as if their sword intent had been absorbed by Sacred Abyss Sword. At first, Lin Ran thought that he was hallucinating, but after careful investigation, he realized that it wasn't. When he first entered the treasure vault, the sword intent in Sacred Abyss Sword could only be ranked medium here. However, at this moment, it could be ranked in the top three. Moreover, the sword intent in it was still condensing and showed no signs of stopping. Seeing this scene, Lin Ran suddenly had a strange feeling. It was as if the sacred abyss sword in front of him was a living thing that was breathing, and the air it breathed was sword intent. That was why it alternated between strong and weak. At this moment, the system's voice suddenly sounded in Lin Ran's mind. Ding! Special location detected. The host is in the Heavenly Saint Dynasty's hidden sword pavilion. Host, do you want to sign in? When the system sounded, Lin Ran knew that it was already the next day. But now, there was a problem in front of him. Should he choose the three swords that he knew very well and could almost guess what reward he could obtain, or should he choose the Sacred Abyss sword that he wasn't sure was the real one or not? Logically speaking, Lin Ran didn't have to be so conflicted. The treasure vault was here. At most, he could stay for a few more days. However, the commotion caused by opening the treasure vault just now was too great. The Empress must have already known about it. Even if she didn't blame Lin Ran, she would definitely ask him to explain the matter clearly. At that time, he would have to face two choices. One was to tell her all his secrets, and the other was to make up a lie. Lin Ran would never choose the former. As for the latter, the Empress was not so easy to fool. If he said something wrong and the Empress forbade Lin Ran from entering the treasure vault again, he would have to barge in. His eyes darted around like lightning between the swords, unable to make up his mind. Don't put the eggs in the same basket, Lin Ran muttered to himself, his gaze shifting between the Sacred Abyss Sword and the Three Swords. He was so conflicted that he didn't know what he was talking about. In the end, Lin Ran gritted his teeth, raised his hand, and placed it on Sacred Abyss Sword. Ding! Congratulations to the host for successfully signing in and obtaining the Regal Technique, Sovereign Descent. Regal Technique Lin Ran frowned in confusion. He had obtained a lot of rewards from the system, and it was the first one with a prefix. What exactly was the regal technique? Was it a cultivation technique that only emperors could practice? As if sensing Lin Rant's confusion, a golden manual slowly unfolded in his mind. 
All the lands in the world belong to the emperor, and all the humans in the world are emperor's people, Lin Ran muttered in his heart. This manual did not have many words. He quickly finished reading it, but he was still confused. From the contents of the manual, this was indeed a secret manual of the royal family that only the royal family could cultivate. However, it was so only because the royal family members kept it a secret. This cultivation technique only had two uses. Taking and giving. The taking was to absorb the spiritual energy of heaven and earth to temporarily increase one's cultivation for a short period of time. As for giving, it was to temporarily increase the cultivation of others in a short period of time with one's own spiritual energy. This technique was quite useful. With it, Lin Ran had two life.saving tools. If it were any other time, he would definitely raise his arms and cheer, but right now, he was filled with doubts. Sovereign descent had the effect of temporarily increasing one's cultivation level, but Lin Ran didn't touch the sacred abyss sword just now. Why did his cultivation level up so drastically? Just as Lin Ran was feeling puzzled, he was suddenly pulled back to reality by light footsteps. Someone's coming. Lin Ran's expression changed slightly, and he subconsciously wanted to hide. However, the stone room was an open space, and there was only one stone step in and out. If he went out now, he would definitely bump into the other party. After thinking for a moment, Lin Ran finally decided to use Mystic Gate technique to leave. After all, his appearance here was too suspicious. Once he was seen, he wouldn't be able to explain himself. Just as Lin Ran was about to flash away, he suddenly heard someone ask outside the stone door, Grandpa Sword God. Is that you? Your Majesty. Lin Ran relaxed when he heard the familiar voice. There was only one person walking down the stone steps. Since it was the Empress, based on their relationship, it wouldn't be a big deal. Thinking of this, Lin Ran hurriedly tore off the outer layer of his black clothes, revealing the uniform of the guard commander inside. Then, he grabbed Star Splitter Sword on the ground and put it away. Lin Ran only wanted the Killing Sword intent in Star Splitter Sword. There was no harm in signing in elsewhere. After doing all this, Light appeared outside the stone door. Then, the Empress walked in wearing a dragon robe and carrying a lantern. As soon as their eyes met, Lin Ran immediately knelt on one knee and greeted with a mischievous smile, Greetings, Your Majesty. Normally, the Empress would tell Lin Ran to stand up and ask what he was doing here. However, this time, Lin Ran waited for a long time but did not receive the order to stand up. Instead, he felt a faint killing intent. Chapter 62 Summoned at the same time you are listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 62 Summoned at the same time Translator Henyi Translations Editor Henyi Translations, what are you doing here? The Empress said in a voice devoid of emotions. Lin Ran immediately felt that something was wrong. After hesitating for a moment, he probed, Your Majesty, if I said that I'm here to visit, would you believe me? What do you think? I don't think you will believe me. Just as Lin Ran was in a dilemma, he suddenly had an idea and said, Your Majesty, actually. Sword God entrusted me with a task. What task? As expected, when she heard the words, Sword God, the Empress's attitude softened a lot. Although she was still expressionless, her tone was no longer as cold. Dot, the task is, is, there was naturally no task. As he stalled for time, he looked around for inspiration. He accidentally saw the green sword at the entrance and his eyes lit up. He hurriedly pointed at the green sword and said, It's this sword. Senior Sword God asked me to bring this sword back to Mount Sword. Blue Mountain. The Empress clearly recognized that sword. She was stunned for a moment before she said in confusion, This is only the sword of a general in the recent era. Although it's also a divine weapon, Mount Sword doesn't seem to lack such things, right? I don't know. Don't ask me. Lin Ran shrugged and said, Anyway, 
Sword God asked me to bring it back. He didn't say what it was used for, so I didn't ask. I see. The Empress nodded. Her attitude had completely softened, and she seemed to believe Lin Ran's words. Only then did Lin Ran stand up and see the ruby necklace on the Empress's chest glowing. It was probably activated spontaneously to protect the Empress. Otherwise, with the Empress's cultivation, she would be severely injured by the surging sword intent on the stone steps before she even reached this stone room. After a short silence, the Empress walked around the stone room with the lantern. When she saw the sacred abyss sword on the wall, she heaved a sigh of relief. Then, she looked at Lin Ran and asked, since it's a task entrusted by Grandpa Sword God, why didn't you tell me in advance? Why did you have to come down secretly? At this moment, Lin Ran was no longer nervous. Hearing this, he said helplessly, Senior Sword God specially instructed me not to let you know about this. However, the commotion caused by me opening this place still alerted you. There was a hint of suspicion in the Empress's eyes. Lin Ran added, What I said is true. Think about it. There's an array formation in the hidden sword pavilion. If Senior Sword God didn't tell me, how would I know that there was a secret room down here? How would I find this place? It makes sense. The Empress nodded thoughtfully and finally believed Lin Ran. Then, Lin Ran said a few more words and suggested going back to the ground. Seeing that the Empress agreed, Lin Ran was about to pick up the lantern when the Empress suddenly said, Wait. Oh no. Is almost equal to Lin Ran's heart was in his throat. He thought that the Empress had discovered something and forced a smile. What's wrong, Your Majesty? Is there anything else? The Empress raised her hand and pointed at Blue Mountain Sword. Aren't you here to take this sword? Oh, right, right. I would have forgotten if you hadn't mentioned it. Lin Ran laughed foolishly and picked up the sword. The Empress rolled her eyes in disdain. You're so careless. I really don't know why Grandpa Sword God asked you to do this. I'm the only one on Mount Sword now. Who else can he look for? Lin Ran chuckled and urged the Empress to hurry up. As soon as the two of them went out, Lin Ran suddenly heard a rustling sound. He turned around and saw that the stone door, which had been shattered into pieces, was quickly restored as if time had reversed. This stone room was personally built by Grandpa Sword God. There's a special array formation on the door. It's powerful, right? The Empress introduced with a proud expression like a little girl showing off her toys. Lin Ran was very cooperative and complimented. Then, the two of them walked up the stone steps. As soon as the two of them walked out of the boulder, it seemed to have sensed something and began to tremble before quickly closing. Soon, it returned to its original state. The Empress pulled out the Ten Miles Dragon Roar from the boulder and stroked it for a moment with a nostalgic expression. Then, she instructed Lin Ran, Imperial Guards have surrounded this place. Wait here for a moment. You can go out after I take them away. Lin Ran nodded and the Empress walked out alone with the lantern. Soon, the sound of footsteps were heard. After the guards left, Lin Ran opened the door a crack and made sure that no one was outside before coming out. After locking the door of the hidden sword pavilion, Lin Ran put the key back to its place. Then, he activated the mystic gate sword technique and flashed all the way back to Ming Zhao Hall. After closing the door, he finally felt relieved. After a night of ups and downs, Lin Ran realized that his clothes were drenched in cold sweat. Sigh. It's really stressful for an honest and upright young man like me to do something so sneaky. Lin Ran muttered to himself for a while. When he calmed down, he looked at Blue Mountain Sword and started to feel troubled. Although this sword was a divine weapon, it was useless to Lin Ran. There were already several divine swords in his possession. Compared to those divine swords, Blue Mountain Sword was nothing special in terms of sword intent or power. Naturally, Lin Ran would not want to keep it. Looks like I really have to take a journey back to Mount Sword. 
Lin Ran smiled bitterly and put Blue Mountain Sword aside. He lay on the bed and began to rest. The next morning. Lin Ran had just opened his eyes in a daze when he heard someone knocking on the door. Senior Sword God. Are you still resting? His Majesty wants to see you in the Imperial Study. Got it. Lin Ran replied casually and was about to go back to sleep when he suddenly sat up with a start. Why did the voice of the person outside sound like Li Tiani? Li Tiani knew Lin Ran. If he recognized Lin Ran's voice, it would definitely be a big problem. As expected, Li Tiani recognized Lin Ran's voice almost instantly. His tone changed as he continued, so Commander Lin is also here. That's good. It saves me the trouble of bringing this message to you. Hearing this, Lin Ran's expression immediately became complicated. Back then, the Empress asked Lin Ran to pretend to be the Sword God in the palace. Now, she was summoning Lin Ran and Sword God ten miles at the same time. What was going on? However, the Emperor's orders were not to be challenged. He changed into the uniform of the guard commander and prepared to go out. When he walked out of the door, he saw Li Tiani standing outside. Lin Ran pulled a long face and was about to speak when he realized that Li Tiani's attitude seemed a little strange. Chapter 63 Trouble is coming, Sword Gods fanboy you are listening at novelfull.audio. Chapter 63 Trouble is coming, Sword Gods fanboy translator. Henyi Translations Editor Henyi Translations usually, when Li Tiani saw Lin Ran, Although he wasn't as bossy as he was to others, he always had a high and mighty attitude. But now, Li Tiani was smiling and bowing, looking surprisingly humble. What's going on? Why did this damn eunuch change overnight? Lin Ran was stunned for a moment, but he quickly realized that this old eunuch had probably been taught a lesson by the Empress after she found his Tai Chi whisk in the closet. A lesson was naturally not enough for this foxy old eunuch to change. What really changed him should be his fear of the unknown. Li Tiani set up a trap to frame Lin Ran, but it turned out that he was the one being set up. He didn't know how his whisk ended up in that closet, but the more mysterious the unknown was, the more terrified a person like him, who had been in a high position for a long time, would be. If he can replace the sword with my whisk without anyone knowing, he can take my head off without anyone knowing too. This time, the fact that my whisk is here is his warning to me. This was what Li Tiani thought when he was reprimanded by the Empress. Bed o videm, Commander Lin. Li Tiani greeted him politely. Seeing him being so polite, Lin Ran was really not used to it. He reached out and helped Li Tiani up. Speak properly. I'm more used to the rude side of you. Commander Lin, you must be joking. Li Tiani hurriedly waved his hand and bowed again. Why are you in Ming Zhao Hall so early in the morning? Don't misunderstand. I'm just curious. It's fine if you don't want to tell me. Oh, I came to ask Senior Sword God for guidance last night. It was too late, so I slept here. Lin Ran casually made up a reason and continued. Senior Sword God is still resting. Why is His Majesty looking for us? If there's nothing important, don't disturb Sword God. When Li Tiani heard this, he quickly said, His Majesty asked me to invite Sword God and said that if Sword God is not around, I need to make a journey to the Barak to invite you. Since we met here, please come with me to the Imperial Study. Only then did Lin Ran understand that the Empress was summoning both him and Sword God. It was just that she did not know what identity Lin Ran would use after leaving the Hidden Sword Pavilion, so she got Li Tiani to invite both of them. Feeling relieved, Lin Ran pretended to bid farewell to the Ten Miles Sword God and followed Li Tiani to the Imperial Study. Along the way, Li Tiani kept asking Lin Ran when he went to look for the Ten Miles Sword God yesterday, and if he had heard any rumors yesterday. Lin Ran knew that Li Tiani wanted to ask him if he knew anything about the trap he set up, but Lin Ran pretended not to know. Since Li Tiani was so terrified, let him be terrified for a few more days. 
Soon, they arrived at the imperial study. Lin Ran walked in and saw the empress writing something on a piece of cloth. From time to time, she would frown. When she saw him enter, she only took a glance before lowering her head to continue studying. Seeing that the empress had no intention of speaking, Lin Ran did not urge her. He found a chair to sit on and closed his eyes to rest. Too many things had happened last night, which made Lin Ran a little exhausted. Even after resting for a night, he still felt exhausted. In the blink of an eye, an hour passed. Lin Ran heard the sound of a chair moving. When he opened his eyes, he saw the empress walking over with a piece of cloth. Take a look first. The empress handed him a silk cloth. Lin Ran took it and saw that it was an invitation. The invitation wrote that when the emperor was quelling King Zhao's rebellion, many martial artists had helped him. Now that everything was settled, he wanted to hold a banquet in the palace to thank those martial artists. After reading it, Lin Ran frowned and asked in confusion, did anyone from the martial world offer help? The empress chuckled and shook her head. Lin Ran was even more puzzled. Then why are you inviting them? The empress smiled faintly and said, I want to see their attitude. Lin Ran thought for a moment before coming to a realization. He looked at the empress and said, you're giving them a chance to turn themselves in. Hearing this, the empress suddenly became serious. Those who come, I will let bygones be bygones. As for those who are guilty and don't dare to show up, those who openly supported King Zhao will be captured and killed. Lin Ran continued the second half of the sentence tacitly. He suddenly admired the empress's wisdom. The empress sighed and did not continue. She changed the topic and said, however, I still need you to capture them personally. There are countless cultivation sects in the dynasty. I don't know how long it will take for you to return this time. Why? Are you already missing me before I even set out? Lin Ran raised his eyebrows and smiled. Realizing that the empress was not in the mood for jokes, he shut his mouth awkwardly. After a few seconds of silence, Lin Ran probed, did something happen in the palace? If anything happens, I can set out later. There is indeed something, but it's about me. It's about you. The empress looked at Lin Ran and said seriously. Her gaze was very strange and complicated. There was sadness, helplessness, and hesitance. Seeing this, Lin Ran couldn't help but become serious. He sat up straight and said, tell me about it. Hua Qiyun is back. The empress threw out a name. Lin Ran knew that she would definitely introduce this person, so he didn't ask who Hua Qiyun was. He's a genius. Although he's not as good as you, he's still a rare genius. After he exhibited his talent in martial arts, he wanted to become Grandpa Sword God's disciple. However, Grandpa Sword God was about to enter seclusion at that time, so he didn't take him in. He only taught him for about half a year before going into seclusion on Mount Sword. Later on, Hua Qiyun said that he wanted to travel the world like Grandpa Sword God, but he admired Grandpa Sword God too much and didn't allow anyone to defame him. In the last year alone, more than ten people were killed by him because of this. Good lord, he's a brainless fan. Lin Ran nodded, then looked puzzled. But what does his return have to do with me? The empress began to look at Lin Ran with a complicated and strange gaze. You're the ten miles sword god now. Lin Ran was stunned for a moment before his mind went blank. Hua Qian was clearly here for the ten miles sword god. It was easy for Lin Ran to fool outsiders, but Hua Qian had been with the Ten Miles Sword God for half a year. It wasn't easy to fool him. If Hua Qian found out that someone was pretending to be his idol, how would he react? Lin Ran couldn't imagine it. Although with his strength, he didn't have to worry at all, his identity as the Ten Miles Sword God was probably going to be exposed. Chapter 64 the Relationship Between the You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 64 The Relationship Between the Hidden Sword Pavilion and Mount Sword Translator 
Henyi Translations Editor. Henyi Translations seeing Lin Rant's expression, the Empress knew that he had understood. There was a strange silence in the Imperial study, as if neither of them knew how to continue this topic. After half an hour, Lin Ran probed with a strange expression, is that was something very sinister. The Empress was stunned for a moment, not understanding why Lin Ran suddenly asked this, but she still shook her head. He's a very upright person, but his thoughts are a little extreme. For example, he will kill anyone who says anything bad about Grandpa Sword God. When Lin Ran heard this, he instantly relaxed. If Hua Qiyun was sinister and unscrupulous, Lin Ran would have no choice but to get rid of him. Lin Ran was at the fifth level of the half, Saint Realm. In the Heavenly Saint Dynasty, the few old fellows who could fight him were all in seclusion. No matter how talented Hua Qiyun was, there was an 80% chance that Lin Ran wouldn't be able to defeat him with one strike. If one strike didn't work, then two strikes. Hua Qiyun had been taught by the Ten Mile Sword God for half a year, and Lin Ran had also obtained the inheritance of the Ten Mile Sword God. The two of them were considered from the same sect. Unless he had to, Lin Ran didn't want to kill him. After thinking for a moment, Lin Ran suddenly asked, Wait. If I pack up and set out now, he won't be able to see me, right? No, you have to be at this state banquet. The Empress sighed and pointed at the invitation in Lin Ran's hand. This idea was suggested by Hua Qiyun. In order to achieve the goal, we need a formidable presence at the scene. Only then will those martial artists behave themselves. Lin Ran instantly understood and smiled bitterly. Didn't you say that Hua Qiyun is very upright? This idea is simply despicable. It's obvious that he wants to keep me. No, the Ten Mile Sword God here. The Empress nodded, but her expression was not as nervous as before. Actually, you don't have to worry too much. It's not like there's nothing we can do about this. Lin Ran was immediately interested. What's on your mind? That the Empress suddenly revealed a playful expression. I was a little uncertain at first, but when I saw how smart Lord Lin was, I felt that this plan is feasible. Lin Ran rolled his eyes and didn't comment on the Empress's evaluation on him. You actually don't have to meet him. As long as you do something, such as releasing your sword intent at the state banquet to intimidate everyone and make him feel that no one else can do this except Sword God, he will naturally believe in your identity. Lin Ran thought for a moment and realized that this plan was feasible. However, there was another problem and that was that Hua Qiyun's suspicion was not baseless. To such diehard fans, when they suddenly heard the news of their idol coming out of seclusion, they would either be excited or question the validity of the news, but they would never think that someone was pretending to be their idol. Unless he was already certain that his idol was no longer alive. This was a very simple logic. It was impossible for the Empress not to notice it. However, she did not mention it at all. Because Lin Ran did not have any evidence to support this speculation, he did not dwell on it. At this moment, he did not realize that this speculation would become a key in the future. Let's not talk about the future for now. After confirming that Hua Qiyun was not a threat to him, Lin Ran put this matter to the back of his mind. Recalling that his cultivation had increased drastically last night, Lin Ran changed the topic and asked, Your Majesty, there's something I couldn't figure out all night. Can you give me some pointers? The Empress was surprised. Oh. There's something you can't figure out. At first glance, this question sounded like a compliment, but Lin Ran felt a little embarrassed. He paused for a moment before asking, Last night, in the treasure vault of the Hidden Sword Pavilion, I saw the Sacred Abyss Sword, but wasn't that sword buried in Mount Sword? Could it be that the one in Mount Sword is fake? No, the Sacred Abyss Sword in Mount Sword is real. The Empress shook her head and denied it. Before Lin Ran could ask further, she continued, the sword in the Hidden Sword Pavilion is also real. Lin Ran was a little confused. What do you mean? Did the Heavenly Saint Emperor have two swords back then? 
the Empress shook her head again. Back then, my ancestor only had one sword. Lin Ran pursed his lips and muttered unhappily, you can trample on my dignity, but you can't insult my intelligence. Since the heavenly saint emperor only had one sword, how can both sacred abyss swords be real? Seeing Lin Ran's angry expression, the empress smirked. She looked at him with interest for a long time before saying softly with a faint smile, I never said that there are two sacred abyss swords in the world. Then just now, Lin Ran stopped mid-sentence as a guess suddenly popped up in his mind. This guess caused his hands to tremble uncontrollably. The Hidden Sword Pavilion and Mount Sword, are the same place. Lin Ran asked tentatively. It was unknown if he was shocked or nervous, but his voice was trembling. The Empress smiled without saying anything, but a sly look flashed across her eyes, proving that Lin Ran was right. Lin Ran covered his face and took a deep breath, cursing himself for being a fool and failing to figure out something so obvious. The huge boulder in the Hidden Sword Pavilion was made of the same material as Mount Sword, so it must be related to Mount Sword. If it was just a boulder, it might have been moved from Mount Sword. However, there were seven to eight miles of stone steps down there. It was impossible for anyone to move something so huge from one place to another. Even the current Lin Ran could not do it. The only possibility was that the boulder was also a part of Mount Sword. The Hidden Sword Pavilion and Mount Sword were connected, but the connecting part was hidden under the ground. The Hidden Sword Pavilion was Mount Sword, and Mount Sword was the Hidden Sword Pavilion. It was said that the Sacred Abyss Sword was buried in Mount Sword, but it had actually been stored underground in the palace. Chapter 65 Speaking of the Devil You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 65 Speaking of the Devil Translator Henyi Translations Editor Henyi Translations, congratulations on discovering one of the greatest secrets of the Heavenly Saint Dynasty. This is a path of retreat left behind by the Founding Ancestor. There's another secret passage in that stone room that can only be opened by divine artifacts passed down from generation to generation. Once we are under siege, we can retreat into Mount Sword through the secret passage. The reason why there are a huge number of divine weapons stored there is also to prepare us for the last fight. The Empress explained in a tone that sounded neither happy nor sad. Lin Ran nodded. Compared to, the Hidden Sword Pavilion is Mount Sword, the other secret was nothing. After a pause, Lin Ran asked, it's not just a secret passage, right? There should be an array formation in that stone room to boost cultivation. Then, Lin Ran told the Empress everything about his drastic cultivation advancement. After returning last night, Lin Ran had thought about this strange phenomenon. After eliminating all the possibilities, the most likely possibility was that there was an array formation in the stone room to boost cultivation. However, to Lin Ran's surprise, the Empress looked confused. What array formation? Why haven't I heard of it before? You don't know. Lin Ran was a little surprised. He thought for a moment and asked, Did your elders forget to tell you? Impossible. The Empress shook her head firmly, her eyes revealing a nostalgic expression. About thirty years ago, when my father was still in power, Grandpa Sword God was entrusted by my father to repair the stone room. At that time, Grandpa Sword God reinforced the array formation that activates the opening of the secret passage and left the five element seal on the stone door. Grandpa Sword God is very accomplished in array formations. If there are other array formations there, it's impossible for him not to notice. Actually, not really that accomplished. Otherwise, the demon sealed in Mount Sword wouldn't have been able to escape, Lin Ran muttered under his breath, but he didn't say it out loud. Then, Lin Ran proposed a few more possibilities, but they were all rejected by the Empress. In short, neither of them knew what was going on. In the end, Lin Ran could only put this question to the back of his mind and study it when he had the chance. Dot after resting for a while, the Empress began to explain the process of the state banquet. 
Because those martial artists still had to travel after being invited, the state banquet was temporarily set to be held in three days. However, Hua Qiyun would arrive tonight, so for the next three days, the Ten Mile Sword God must not show up. Otherwise, once Hua Qiyun saw him, he would definitely think of a way to test him. Lin Ran had no objections to this arrangement. He didn't have to pretend to be the Sword God and show up everywhere, which meant he would have more time to do things with his real identity. The second arrangement was that this state banquet was not only to thank the martial artists for offering help, but also a farewell banquet for the Ten Mile Sword God. In order to prevent outsiders from saying that the Heavenly Saint Dynasty was massacring the martial artists who participated in the rebellion, it was necessary for Lin Ran to cooperate with the Empress to put up a show. At that time, the Empress would express her objection while the Sword God would insist on wiping out the rebellious martial artists. Then, in the midst of the debate, he would leave on his sword. Originally, this was just a small show, but now that Hua Qiyun had appeared, the two of them had no choice but to take it seriously. The Empress said with a solemn expression, My suggestion is that you don't speak. Otherwise, if Hua Qiyun hears something wrong, with his personality, he will definitely expose you openly at the banquet and threaten to kill you. Lin Ran frowned and said, I don't care about Hua Qiyun, but if the matter of me pretending to be Sword God is exposed, all our efforts will be in vain. But if I don't speak, how can I make my stand clear? If I leave on my sword straight away without saying a word, more people will be suspicious, right? The Empress sighed. There's nothing we can do. If you don't speak, even if they are suspicious of you, they have no evidence to accuse you with. We still have a chance to make it right in the future, but if your identity is exposed, it will be a disaster. Lin Ran nodded and was about to speak when his expression suddenly changed slightly. He sensed a strong sword intent approaching the imperial study at high speed. The sword intent was not powerful. At most, it was from someone at the peak of senior martial master realm. However, someone who dared to fly at such a speed in the palace was definitely not an ordinary person. Before Lin Ran could remind the Empress, the sword intent had already arrived outside the door. Then, a young man shouted in a clear voice, I'm Hua Qiyun. I request to see His Majesty. As soon as he finished speaking, Lin Ran and the Empress looked at each other, and their expressions changed. Speaking of the devil, here he comes. Your Majesty, can you be reliable for once? Didn't you say that he won't be back until tonight? Lin Ran asked in a low voice. Fortunately, he was using the identity as the commander of the guards. Even if Hua Qiyun saw him, nothing would happen. How would I know? The message he sent back said so. The Empress explained softly. Suddenly, her expression changed slightly as she thought of something. I'm afraid this is also his scheme. This little bastard actually doesn't even trust me now. Hearing the way the Empress called Hua Qiyun, Lin Ran knew that Hua Qiyun was not too old, at least not older than the Empress. But now was not the time to care about that. Lin Ran hurriedly stood up and suppressed his cultivation to the level of a senior martial master. Find an excuse to send him away. Otherwise, I won't be able to return to Ming Zhao Hall. If he finds out that there's no sword intent there, he'll barge in. The Empress nodded to show that she understood. Then, she adjusted her expression and said, Qiyun, come in. Creak, the door of the imperial study was pushed open and a figure in white walked in. Lin Ran was stunned when he saw Hua Qiyun. He had guessed that Hua Qiyun would be very young, but he didn't expect him to be so young. He was tall and handsome with a face that looked to be only 15 or 16 years old. However, many cultivators had the ability to retain their youth, so his age might not be what it seemed. After all, the Ten Mile Sword God had been dead for decades. If Hua Qiyun was really only in his teens, how could he have spent half a year with the Ten Mile Sword God? As if sensing that someone was looking at him, Hua Qiyun also glanced at Lin Ran and realized that he was only a senior martial master. He sneered and ignored him. 
Then, he bowed to the Empress. Greetings, Your Majesty. Please get up. The Empress personally went forward to help Hua Qiyin up. After sizing him up for a moment, her eyes couldn't help but reveal gentleness. I haven't seen you for a few years and you've grown taller. You look like a little adult now. Your Majesty, Hua Qiyun looked displeased and was about to speak when he suddenly thought of something and looked at Lin Ran. He said angrily, Get out. I have something to discuss with His Majesty. Lin Ran couldn't wait to leave. Hearing this, he nodded and left. As the door closed, Lin Ran was about to rush back to Ming Zhao Hall when he suddenly heard Hua Qiyun say softly, Sister Empress, I missed you so much. Lin Ran's heart skipped a beat. Hua Qiyun also knew that the current emperor was a woman. Chapter 66 A newborn calf is not afraid of a tiger you are listening at novel full dot audio. Chapter 66 A newborn calf is not afraid of a tiger translator. Henyi Translations Editor Henyi Translations time was running out, so Lin Ran didn't have time to linger around. After quickly walking away, he activated his movement technique and headed straight for Ming Zhao Hall. As soon as he arrived at Ming Zhao Hall and got changed, Hua Qiyin arrived. Grandpa Sword God. I'm here to see you. Hua Qiyin's voice was very young and refreshing. If it were anyone else, they might feel like they were bathing in the spring breeze upon hearing that voice, but Lin Ran only felt uncomfortable. With a thought, Lin Ran released his half, Saint Sword intent. Outside the door, Hua Qiyun was stunned for a moment before he said excitedly, Grandpa Sword God. You really broke through to the half, Saint Realm. Lin Ran still didn't speak. Although his silence might make Hua Qiyun suspicious, if he spoke, he would only expose himself. Grandpa Sword God. Why are you ignoring me? Grandpa Sword God. Are you cultivating? Grandpa Sword God, guess what realm I'm in now? Hua Qiyun continued one question after another, as if he would not stop unless the Ten Miles Sword God in the room spoke. Lin Ran knew that Hua Qiyun was testing him. At this moment, it was a competition of patience. He retracted his sword intent and maintained it in a range that Hua Qiyun could sense but couldn't investigate carefully. Then, he waited patiently. To Lin Ran's surprise, Hua Qiyun was far more patient than he had imagined. After an hour, Hua Qiyun finally gave up on testing. Grandpa Sword God, since you're busy, I won't disturb you anymore. I'll visit you another day. Soon, it was quiet outside. Lin Ran quietly released his divine sense and confirmed that Hua Qiyun had really left. Only then did he heave a sigh of relief. He knew that he had passed today's test. However, Hua Qiyun really gave Lin Ran a headache. Although this kid was young, he was swift and decisive. The trick he used was very effective. It was not something a 15 or 16 year old child could come up with. However, what Lin Ran cared about the most was that Hua Qiyun called the Empress, Sister Empress. At that time, Lin Ran left in a hurry. He wasn't sure if he had heard wrongly, but if he hadn't heard wrongly, this would have been interesting. Before Hua Qiyun called the Empress Sister Impressor, he sent Lin Ran away, which meant that he didn't want others to know about this. This way, Lin Ran could use this matter as leverage to get Hua Qiyun to not make a fuss about him impersonating the Ten Miles Sword God. Although the success rate seemed to be a little low, it was still a solution. After waiting for another hour and making sure that Hua Qiyun did not suddenly return, Lin Ran slipped out of the room. During the days he spent in the palace, he could go wherever he wanted openly. This was the first time he had to be so sneaky. Thinking of this, Lin Ran felt a little frustrated. He was a half-saint. Why did he have to sneak around like a thief because of a brat however, Lin Ran was a mature man after all. Although he was frustrated, he didn't intend to do anything to Hua Qiyun. He only cursed in his mind before rushing back to the imperial study. The empress seemed to know that Lin Ran would be back. As soon as he entered, 
she came over and closed the door. After making sure that no one was eavesdropping outside, the Empress looked at Lin Ran and asked anxiously, How is it? He doesn't suspect anything, right? Lin Ran shook his head and went straight to the point. Does Hua Qiyun know your secret? The Empress was stunned for a moment before she reacted and nodded. When he first entered the palace, I hadn't succeeded the throne. I didn't expect I would end up ascending the throne, so I didn't hide my identity. The late emperor didn't have any other children. It can be said that he was my only playmate when I was young. Lin Ran nodded and explained the threat plan he had just thought of. Will this work? The empress revealed a suspicious expression. Do you know that once you threaten him with this, it will be equivalent to telling him that you are impersonating the sword god? It's fine if he agrees, but if he doesn't, we won't have any way out. Lin Ran said helplessly, we have no choice. This kid is too cunning. If I don't take the risk and give it a try, he'll find a way to expose me tomorrow. The Empress frowned and didn't say anything. She knew that Lin Ran was right, but this plan was too risky. Lin Ran knew that it was risky too, so when he saw that the Empress was in a dilemma, he did not urge her. He sat on the chair and waited for her to think it through. Before he could lean back, a clear young man's voice came from outside the door again. I'm Hua Qiyun. I request to see His Majesty. Not again. Lin Ran held his forehead speechlessly and shrugged. What did I say? He is cunning. Either we tell him or wait for him to find out and beat the drum about it. The Empress nodded with a conflicted expression. I understand. Don't speak later. I'll think of a way to test him first. Lin Ran nodded and suppressed his realm to the level of a senior martial master again. Only then did the Empress call Hua Qiyun in. Seeing Lin Ran, Hua Qiyun immediately frowned. You again. Why do I see you every time I come? What do you do? Commander of the Imperial Guards, Lin Ran. Lin Ran forced a smile and added after some thought, I'm His Majesty's personal guard. Hua Qiyun nodded and said coldly, Get out. I have something to discuss with His Majesty. Lin Ran left. When he closed the door, he suddenly felt as if time had returned to an hour ago. He didn't know whether to laugh or cry. However, this time, Lin Ran did not have to return to Ming Zhao Hall. He placed his hand on the hilt of his sword and stood guard outside the imperial study. The two of them deliberately lowered their voices in the imperial study. Lin Ran didn't release his divine sense, so he didn't know what the two of them were talking about inside. Dot after waiting in boredom for about half an hour, the door of the imperial study suddenly opened. Hua Qiyun stood at the door and curled his finger at Lin Ran. Come. Hua Qiyun's tone was very strange. Lin Ran suddenly remembered that when he was in high school, this was the tone students from other classes spoke when they came to ask for a fight. It was a kind of contempt for one's opponent under blind confidence. Moreover, this tone was usually malicious. Sigh. A newborn calf is not afraid of a tiger. Lin Ran sighed in his heart and strode over, not caring about the hostility Hua Qiyun showed. The difference in their cultivation levels was obvious. If Hua Qiyun dared to attack, Lin Ran didn't mind teaching him a lesson. Chapter 67 Secret Exposed You Are Listening at Novel Full. Audio. Chapter 67 Secret Exposed Translator Henyi Translations Editor Henyi Translations As soon as Lin Ran walked into the Imperial Study, Hua Qiyun closed the door behind him. Then, he pulled out his sword and blocked the door, as if he was afraid that Lin Ran would run away. Seeing Hua Qiyun draw his sword, the Empress's expression changed slightly. Qiyun. What are you doing? Put away your sword. Hua Qiyun didn't reply. He just looked at Lin Ran coldly and said in a commanding tone, Draw your sword and let me see what you're capable of. Lin Ran turned around and glanced at Hua Qiyun casually. Then, he looked at the Empress. 
Did you tell him? Most of it. The Empress nodded, but her expression was a little subtle. Lin Ran instantly understood. Most of it had been said, which meant that she had left out something crucial. At the thought of this, Lin Ran finally turned to face Hua Qiyun and asked with a smile, Why do you want to see what I'm capable of, you're His Majesty's personal guard? I want to see if you have the ability to protect His Majesty. Hua Qiyun replied calmly, but before he spoke, he clearly turned his eyes to the upper right. That was a sign that he was lying. Lin Ran chuckled to himself. It seemed that Hua Qiyun was indeed a genius, just like him. All right, I'll show you. Lin Ran nodded, and a cold glint flashed across his eyes. Then, some invisible shackles in his body began to shatter. Hua Qiyun's expression changed almost instantly. No. You're not a senior martial master. Lin Ran only smiled and didn't say anything. His aura began to rise steadily. Senior martial master, grandmaster, senior grandmaster. Senior grandmaster level 1, 2, 3. It wasn't until he reached the peak of the ninth level of senior grandmaster realm that Lin Rant's aura stabilized. Although it was still far from his limit, his intuition told him that he had to keep enough trump cards when facing this strange kid. However, even if it was only the ninth level of the senior grandmaster realm, it was enough to make Hua Qian's face turn pale. He did not even notice that the sword in his hand had fallen to the ground. The endless sharp sword intent seemed to have materialized. The imperial study was calm, but Hua Qian felt as if he was in a turbulent sea. The wind howled and the waves surged, but he was like a small boat that could only drift along with the waves in the destructive storm. Gulp. Hua Qian gulped and knelt down instinctively. Lin Ran didn't expect this cocky kid to be so gun shy. He quickly retracted his sword intent and suppressed his cultivation to the realm of a senior martial master. The sword intent dissipated, but Hua Qian was still kneeling on the ground in a daze. Seeing this, the Empress couldn't help but look worried. She came to Lin Ran's side and asked softly, What did you do to him? Will he be fine? He's fine. He was just scared. Lin Ran didn't know whether to laugh or cry. When Hua Qian gradually came back to his senses, Lin Ran asked with a faint smile, How is it? Did you see what I'm capable of? Do you want to see it again? No need, no need. I've seen it clearly. Hua Qian's expression changed and he waved his hand repeatedly. After saying that, he realized that he was still kneeling on the ground. He quickly got up and pretended to be calm. Lin Ran found it funny, but he couldn't be bothered to expose him. He went straight to the point and said, Senior Sword God has to deal with some private matters. I don't know when he'll be back, so His Majesty wants me to pretend to be him for the time being. Are you willing to cooperate with us? The Empress also said, Qiyun, the situation between the Heavenly Saint Dynasty and the Great Yong Dynasty is tense. If people know Grandpa Sword God isn't around, a war might break out. This is for the sake of the world. Are you willing to help me this time? As long as Hua Qiyun still had justice in his heart, he would definitely not refuse. Even if he did not cooperate with them to put up a show, he would at least promise to keep it a secret. However, after a while, Hua Qiyun still didn't say anything. He just frowned at Lin Ran as if he couldn't figure out what was going on. Lin Ran didn't expect Hua Qiyun to have this reaction. He suddenly felt a little uncertain. He leaned over to the Empress and asked in a low voice, Is he going to say no? If that's the case, I have to kill him. The Empress shook her head. No, Qiyun has been a good child since he was young. Moreover, this matter is for the sake of the world. He will definitely agree. A good child who wanders around and kills a dozen people in a year, Lin Ran pursed his lips and looked at the Empress teasingly. It seems that our definition of good child is a little different. The Empress rolled her eyes and did not speak. After thinking for a moment, she said, Qiyun, I know that you admire Grandpa Sword God. If you don't want to help, 
I can understand. I just hope you can keep this a secret. Got it. Hua Qian suddenly spoke, but he didn't answer the Empress. He looked at Lin Ran excitedly. I felt that your sword intent was a little familiar just now. That's Grandpa's sword god's sword intent. Lin Ran was surprised. You almost peed your pants just now. How can you distinguish my sword intent? Grandpa's sword god taught me to stay calm at all times. Panic and anger will only kill you faster. Hua Qiyun repeated it as if he was reciting it from memory. Then, he ran up to Lin Ran and sized him up as if it was their first time meeting. Who are you? Why do you have Grandpa Sword God's sword intent? Before Lin Ran could speak, the Empress explained, Commander Lin used to be a mountain guardian of Mount Sword. He received a lot of guidance from Grandpa Sword God. He is considered your senior apprentice. Brother. No, no, no. Grandpa Sword God taught me first. I'm the senior brother. Hua Qiyun shook his finger and stared at Lin Ran with a scrutinizing gaze. His sword intent is not only similar to Grandpa Sword God's, but it's almost identical. If he wasn't so ugly, I would have suspected that Grandpa Sword God had returned to his youth. Lin Ran's expression instantly darkened. He grabbed Hua Qian's collar and said coldly, you can insult my intelligence, but you can't insult my looks. I don't care if you are a child or not. If you dare to say that again, I'll kill you. The Empress's expression turned solemn. If Hua Qian said another word about Lin Ran being ugly, she had no doubt that Lin Ran would really attack. However, Hua Qian didn't seem to be afraid at all. Instead, he looked at Lin Ran meaningfully. You won't kill me. I know your secret. Lin Ran's attitude softened, but he still pretended to be fierce. Then tell me, what secret do you have that can stop me from killing you? Hua Qian's eyes suddenly turned red. He whispered into Lin Ran's ear, Grandpa Sword God is no longer around, right? Chapter 68 The truth is revealed, successor of you are listening at novel full .audio. Chapter 68 The truth is revealed, successor of the Ten Miles Sword God Translator. Henyi Translations Editor. Henyi Translations Lin Rant's expression changed instantly. He even looked at Hua Qiyun in shock. He knew that Hua Qiyun was a little difficult to deal with, but he didn't expect it to be so difficult. Only Lin Ran knew that the Ten Miles Sword God had died in Mount Sword. Perhaps Daoist Li knew too, but he was already dead, so it didn't matter if he knew or not. To the outside world, Lin Ran had always said that the Sword God was a way to settle private matters. Even to the Empress, he said the same thing. Therefore, he couldn't figure out how Hua Qiyun knew about this. Lin Ran wanted to ask, but he couldn't because the Empress was still beside him. After hesitating for half a second, Lin Ran grabbed Hua Qian's collar and tossed him over his shoulder. After bidding farewell to the Empress, he quickly left the Imperial study and flew back to Mingzhao Hall. Dot Hua Qian already knew that the Sword God had died, so Lin Ran naturally didn't have to continue pretending. After returning to Mingzhao Hall, Lin Ran threw Hua Qian down. At the same time, he drew his sword and activated the Five Elements Sword Technique. Earth. Boom. A powerful earth attribute sword energy rose from the ground and instantly formed a cage that trapped Hua Qian. Lin Ran stepped forward and pressed his sword against Hua Qian's neck. He asked coldly, Who are you? Why are you approaching me? Before Hua Qian could speak, Lin Ran added, Don't lie. Or you'll die. It was different from the threat in the Imperial study. At that time, Although Lin Ran was angry, he didn't really want to kill Hua Qian. It was just intimidation. But at this moment, he really wanted to kill Hua Qian. On the way back, he had already thought about it. It was impossible for him to leak the news of the Sword God's death. The only explanation was that Hua Qian was monitoring him and learned about this through surveillance. 
In the sword energy cage, Hua Qian's face was pale. He clearly didn't expect Lin Ran to have such a big reaction. After a few minutes, Hua Qian slowly calmed down. He stared at the sword blade that was an inch away from him and quickly said, It's the sword intent. Your sword intent is exactly the same as Grandpa Sword God's. Only when Grandpa Sword God takes the initiative to give you his cultivation will this happen. Lin Rant's eyes flickered. It wasn't that he believed Hua Qian, but he suddenly realized an awkward situation. Although he was now at the half, Saint Realm, it was all thanks to the system. As a transmigrator, he knew nothing about cultivation inheritance. In other words, Lin Ran couldn't tell if Hua Qian was telling the truth. Fortunately, Lin Ran's aura was terrifying enough. Seeing that Lin Ran was silent, Hua Qian thought that he didn't believe him. He quickly added, Grandpa Sword God told me this. Back then, I wanted to become his disciple, but he was about to enter seclusion, so it didn't work out. Before Grandpa Sword God went into seclusion, he promised me that if he came out alive, he would take me in as his disciple. If he failed, he would seal all his cultivation in the Ten Miles Dragon Roar. He told me to go to the place where he went into seclusion to find the Dragon Roar Sword and fulfill his wish if I hear the news of his death. As if afraid that Lin Ran wouldn't be patient enough to listen to him, Hua Qiyun spoke very quickly. Fortunately, he could speak clearly. After Lin Ran heard this, he almost immediately believed him. Previously, when he left the cave where the sword god was in seclusion, in order to prevent outsiders from discovering that the demon had escaped, he destroyed the only entrance. It was impossible for Hua Qiyun to know what was going on inside, but what he said was accurate. This meant that Hua Qiyun was not lying. In fact, when he found the sword god's remains at the top of Mount Sword, Lin Ran had discovered many strange things. For example, although the letter left behind by the sword god did not mention who it was for, the tone indicated that it was written for an acquaintance. For example, after Lin Ran obtained the Ten Miles Dragon Roar, the system gave him two rewards for the first time. At that time, Lin Ran thought that the system was being generous. Now that he thought about it, the Sodot called obtaining the remnant internal energy of the Ten Miles Sword God was actually something that the Sword God had stored in the Dragon Roar Sword from the beginning. Lin Ran sheathed his sword and waved his hand to dispel the sword energy cage. Although Hua Qian had been wandering about the continent for many years, he was still a child. Frightened by Lin Ran, he fell to the ground almost instantly, his body trembling. Lin Ran went over to help him up. He wanted to say something, but he realized that he didn't know what to say. After knowing the whole story, Lin Ran actually felt bad about Hua Qian. Hua Qian was the successor appointed by the Ten Miles Sword God. If Lin Ran did not appear, the Ten Miles Dragon Roar and the cultivation of the Sword God would belong to Hua Qian. Lin Ran happened to stumble upon the Sword God's remains and obtained what was not for him to obtain. Although he hadn't done anything to let the Sword God down, he felt sorry for Hua Qian. After a moment of silence, Lin Ran suddenly looked at Hua Qian. Shall I take you in as my disciple? Those sword techniques and internal energy were originally left to you by the Sword God. I might not be able to give you the internal energy, but I can teach you the sword techniques. If you don't want to call me master, don't. Hua Qian's gaze became even stranger. He stared at Lin Ran and asked suspiciously, I don't think you're lying to me, but why are you doing this? Hmm. I guess it's to return the favor. Lin Ran smiled bitterly and added after some thought, after all, I owe senior sword god a favor. Hua Qian didn't say anything. He just looked at Lin Ran carefully, wanting to find signs of lying on his face. As expected, Hua Qian didn't find anything. I got it. Hua Qian nodded and stood up to tidy up his clothes. He placed his right hand on his left shoulder and bowed respectfully to Lin Ran. Before Lin Ran could ask, Hua Qian had already stood up and said coldly, I won't call you master. Grandpa Sword God is my only master. Lin Ran chuckled. 
It's okay, as long as you practice hard. Hua Qiyun nodded and put on a serious expression. There are still three days until the state banquet. You have to learn to speak and act perfectly like Grandpa Sword God. You definitely won't be able to do it in three days, but I can try my best to make you look like him. Lin Ran nodded and suddenly thought of something. So, you agree to help us keep it a secret. I'm not helping you. I'm helping the world. Hua Qian's face revealed a mature look that did not match his age. I came back this time because I found a secret. If it's not handled well, the Heavenly Saint Dynasty will fall into war again. Chapter 69 Crisis of the Heavenly Saint Dynasty You are listening at NovelFull.audio Chapter 69 Crisis of the Heavenly Saint Dynasty Translator Henyi Translations Editor Henyi Translations Lin Ran was immediately interested in this secret. However, when he asked again, Hua Qiyun refused to say anything. He only said that the secret was huge and that he had to report it to the Empress in person. Seeing this, Lin Ran could only bring Hua Qiyun back to the Imperial study. As for the secret Hua Qiyun mentioned, he didn't take it to heart. After all, Lin Ran had once been young and knew that young people were always full of crap. Soon, the two of them returned to the Imperial study. With a frown, the Empress seemed to be dealing with state affairs, but in fact, she was holding the brush in her hand upside down. From this, one could tell how anxious she was. Seeing Lin Ran and Hua Qiyun walk in side by side, the Empress hurriedly stood up and asked, Lord Lin. Qiyun, where did you go just now? We just found a place to catch up with each other. Lin Ran smiled and put his arm around Hua Qiyun's shoulder, pretending to be a good friend with him. Then, Hua Qiyun pushed him away with a look of disdain. The Empress sensed that although the atmosphere between the two of them was strange, it was indeed not as tense as before. She finally relaxed and put on a playful expression as she asked with a smile, it seems that the outcome of your catching up was not very good. Lin Ran rubbed his nose awkwardly and pointed at Hua Qiyun. This kid is willing to help us. We'll talk about it later. He said that he has a big secret to tell you. You guys chat first. With that, Lin Ran closed the door of the imperial study and sat behind the desk. He picked up a brush and began to write down the sword technique, preparing to give it to Hua Qiyun later. Hua Qiyun didn't know what Lin Ran was doing, but he didn't care. He pulled the empress to the desk and took out a wooden box. The wooden box was about the size of an egg. The surface was painted red, and there were decorative patterns outlined by gold paint on the edges. When Hua Qian opened the wooden box, there was only a green mud ball inside. What is this? The Empress wanted to take it out to take a look, but Hua Qian grabbed her wrist. Don't touch it. This thing is very dangerous. Lin Ran stuck his head out and took a look. Then, he revealed a disdainful expression. Hua, if you're really bored, get your emperor's sister to give you some toys. Donkey dung is not fun. When the empress heard this, she burst into laughter. This mud ball indeed looked similar to a donkey dung. Shut up. What do you know? Hua Qian glared at Lin Ran, then looked like he was reminiscing. I got this from a martial artist. About three months ago, I found out that he publicly insulted Grandpa Sword Saint, so I challenged him to a duel. His cultivation level is about the same as mine, also at the ninth level of Senior Martial Master Realm. However, I still managed to take the upper hand. Just as I thought that victory was near, he suddenly took this thing and broke through to the Grandmaster Realm. At this point, Hua Qian suddenly stopped. Lin Ran and the Empress thought that he wanted to catch his breath, so they didn't rush him. However, after waiting for half a minute, they didn't hear anything else. Just as Lin Ran was feeling puzzled, Hua Qiyun couldn't help but frown at the two of them and ask suspiciously, Are you with me? I'm only at the ninth level of Senior Martial Master Realm. Aren't you curious about what happened after that? Is that necessary? 
the Empress didn't know whether to laugh or cry. If you can stand here now, doesn't that mean that you won in the end? Lin Ran continued after the Empress, it happened three months ago. If I'm not wrong, you must have experienced a tough battle and might have even been injured, so you recuperated for three months. Hua Qiyun's expression changed slightly. Lin Ran continued as if he did not see it, it was nearly impossible for a senior martial master to fight a grandmaster, but you did. It means that the effect of this pill is not stable. When the other party was attacked by the side effect of the pill, you took the opportunity to kill him. There's another possibility. This kind of pill has a time limit. Qiyun lasted until the pill lost its effect before killing him. Following Lin Rant's train of thought, the Empress also analyzed. It could be said that the two of them had developed a tacit understanding recently. After saying that, she realized that Hua Qiyun was looking at her with a bitter expression. She quickly smiled apologetically and said, I'm sorry to interrupt you. Continue. What else is there to say? You've already said everything I wanted to say. Hua Qiyun's face fell, then his eyes lit up as he said, By the way, there's one more thing. You don't think you know where this pill is produced, that great Yong dynasty. Lin Ran and the Empress spoke in unison. Then, the two of them looked at each other, as if surprised by the tacit understanding between them. Hua Qiyun's expression changed as he glared at the two of them and asked, How did you know? Have you seen this pill before? Lin Ran smiled and did not say anything. The Empress pointed at the wooden box on the desk and said, The pattern drawn on it is called Moth Pattern. It symbolizes bravery and fearlessness. It's a special pattern used by the Great Yong Dynasty's army. If you want to keep us in suspense, change the box. This time, Hua Qiyun finally stopped making them guess. He slumped into the chair beside him like a deflated ball. Since you all know, I'll just say it. After seeing the effect of this pill, I infiltrated into the Great Yong Dynasty to investigate. This thing is not common in the Great Yong Dynasty, but it's not rare either. Almost every large dot scale spiritual medicine shop sells it. It's just that the price is relatively high. The effect of this pill is so shocking. If it is used in the army, won't the army be invincible? Therefore, I guess that this pill is still in trial. The army of the Great Yong Dynasty should already be equipped with an even more powerful pill. As soon as he finished speaking, the atmosphere in the imperial study suddenly became serious. Lin Ran stopped smiling and subconsciously looked at the Empress. The two of them could see the same seriousness in each other's eyes. It wasn't a big deal for one senior martial master to advance to grandmaster, but what if the entire army could advance at such a speed? The Empress's face was ashen, and her brows were furrowed tightly. The latest secret report from the Grand Council has it that in the past half a year, the Great Yong Dynasty has been recruiting soldiers. As of three days ago, a conservative estimate is that they have 700,000 soldiers with an average cultivation of the fourth level of the martial master realm. Lin Ran and Hua Qiyun immediately understood what the Empress meant. Even if this pill could only help one advance to the ninth level of the senior martial master realm, it would still be able to produce an army of 700,000 ninth level senior martial masters. A force of this scale could almost sweep through the entire world, let alone the heavenly saint dynasty. Chapter 70 Impersonating the Sword God, from entry to giving up you are listening at novelfull.audio Chapter 70 Impersonating the Sword God, from entry to giving up translator Henyi Translations Editor Henyi Translations After a full quarter of an hour, the Empress finally broke the silence. I originally thought that with Grandpa Sword God's appearance, we would at least be able to buy some time. I didn't expect the Great Yong Dynasty to be so ambitious. First, it was an assassination. Now, they have developed such a thing. If Qiyin didn't discover it, I wouldn't know danger is so near. When Hua Qiyin heard this, his expression changed and he hurriedly stood up from his chair. Your Majesty, you were assassinated. 
When did this happen? Just a few days ago. The Empress roughly told him about the assassin pretending to be Consort Rome. Originally, only she and Lin Ran knew about this. Now, there was also Hua Qiyun. It was obvious that she trusted him a lot. Damn Great Yong Dynasty. Hua Qiyun was furious. He swung his sword and cut off a corner of the desk. Then, he looked at Lin Ran and said with a murderous aura, let's set off now and go to the Great Yong Dynasty to cut off that evil emperor's head. You're at the ninth level of the senior grandmaster realm. Even if they have this pill, none of them can hurt you. Lin Ran was also a little angry, but he remained seated on the chair and said calmly, enough. With my cultivation level, we'll be in big trouble if I really go with you. Hua Qiyun looked disdainful. Are you afraid? You, Lin Ran was about to curse, but at the thought that he owed Hua Qiyun so much, he restrained himself. There's an agreement between the countries that those above the Grand Master realm are not allowed to participate in the battle. If I interfere, the Heavenly Saint Dynasty will become the target of public criticism. Hua Qiyun clearly didn't know about this agreement. He was stunned for a moment before scolding, what kind of a bastard would agree to this kind of an agreement? I was the one who agreed, the Empress said angrily. Hua Qiyun smiled awkwardly and stopped talking. After a moment of silence, the Empress continued, no matter what the Great Yong Dynasty is planning in secret, even if they are really prepared to start a war, they will still need a justifiable cause. There's no need to worry too much. Lin Ran and Hua Qiyun nodded in agreement. The Empress continued, the most important thing now is to stabilize the Heavenly Saint Dynasty. We have to get rid of those martial artists who participated in the rebellion as soon as possible. They are already afraid of us settling scores with them. If they join hands with the Great Yong Dynasty at this juncture, we will be done for. In that case, let's bring forward the state banquet. Lin Ran said, tomorrow at noon, hold a state banquet in the square in front of the palace. When the Empress heard this, she frowned slightly. Although this is an urgent matter, isn't tomorrow a little too early? There are many things that we can't prepare in time. Lin Ran sneered. What preparations are needed? This is a state banquet. If the Emperor invites them to a banquet, even if there is only tea to drink, it's enough for them to brag about for half their lives. The Empress thought for a moment and still felt that it was inappropriate. It's already past noon. We have less than 24 hours. Even if we immediately send out the invitation letters, some of them might not be able to make the journey here in time. Then they don't have to. As Lin Ran spoke, he grabbed the invitation letter and added something on it. Those who are far and unable to make the journey in time can hang a yellow flag outside their gate to express their gratitude to His Majesty. The Empress frowned. Will that work? If they can't see Grandpa Sword God in person, I'm afraid they won't sincerely side with us, right? Lin Ran smiled, but his tone was extremely cold. To put it bluntly, this state banquet is just an occasion for them to show their attitude. As for whether they're sincere or not, is it that important? The Empress looked puzzled, not completely understanding what Lin Ran meant. Hua Qiyun's expression changed slightly as he looked at Lin Ran in surprise. Are you trying to make an example out of some? If you wipe out a few large sects that don't hang yellow flags outside the gate, the remaining small fries will naturally be terrified. Lin Ran smiled in approval. Actually, he didn't want to do such a cold dot blooded thing. But now, the great Yong dynasty was eager to make a move. Who knew when a war would break out? He could only try to settle it in the quickest manner, even if it meant he had to do something he did not want to do. As for whether the Empress would agree, Lin Ran was actually not worried. From the way the Empress dealt with the traitors in the imperial court, it could be seen that although she was a woman, she was not so benevolent. Otherwise, she would have lost her power long ago. As expected, after only half a minute, the hesitation in the Empress's eyes disappeared. Let's do it your way. 
As the Empress spoke, she picked up the invitation letter and said, I'll immediately get someone to send it. I don't know how many people will come tomorrow. To what extent they will be intimidated depends on you. Lin Ran nodded with a smile. Hua Qian said, it's too early to smile. Since the state banquet is brought forward, we have to start preparing now. Let's go back to Ming Zhao Hall. I'll teach you how to act like Grandpa Sword God. Thank you, then. Lin Ran smiled again, but his eye expression had turned serious. Although Lin Ran had been pretending to be the Sword God for a while, he spent most of his time in the palace. As long as he covered his face and released his sword intent, the civil and military officials and palace eunuchs would not be able to tell if he was real or fake. However, at the state banquet tomorrow, there would be a large number of martial artists present. Most of them had seen the Ten Miles Sword God with their own eyes. Some of the sect masters and elders of large sects had even interacted with the Ten Miles Sword God closely. If Lin Ran couldn't fool them, the entire plan would be ruined. After finalizing the plan, the three of them split up. The Empress summoned Li Tiani and instructed him to distribute the invitation letters. Lin Ran and Hua Qiyun returned to Ming Zhao Hall and began the lesson of impersonating Ten Miles Sword God imitation. The two of them sat facing each other. Hua Qiyun pointed at Lin Ran and said, The human skin mask can't hide your expression. Grandpa Sword God is a powerful master. He definitely won't show his thoughts on his face like you. So the first step is to put away your stupid expression. Why do I feel like you're using this opportunity to take revenge on me? Lin Ran pursed his lips and touched his face. When did I write my thoughts on my face? Hua Qiyun didn't say anything. With a flick of his thumb, he unsheathed his sword and held it in front of Lin Ran to use it as a mirror. Lin Ran looked at himself in the sword and saw that he was frowning and pursing his lips. It was indeed not the expression of a master. Sigh, I've been troubled by too many things these days. Rubbing his slightly furrowed brows, Lin Ran asked, Why don't I cover my face tomorrow? No, Hua Qian firmly denied it. Grandpa Sword God never wears a mask. You have to show your face at the state banquet tomorrow. You have to tell everyone that the Ten Mile Sword God is back and that those who dare to play dirty tricks will die. Lin Ran smacked his lips and didn't say anything, but he already had the thought of giving up. This was much harder than he had imagined.